now for futures and focus. Oil is rising from the lowest in more than a year. This even as concerns of a global glut persist. Scott Geekus of Longleaf Trading Group joins us now from the CME. Scott, is this the sign of a rebound or just a little relief rally this Monday morning? Well, it, it's really going to be <clears throat> all due to the headlines. Everything is going to be uh, due to the headlines. With oil at this price, uh, it, it's not sustainable for OPEC. OPEC wants higher prices. However, the U.S. wants lower prices. So the rumor is that Saudi is expected to have those cuts come out. But with the with the U.S. backing Saudi over the death of that journalist, we expect those cuts not to come as soon as the market is expecting. So we're going to see how that's really going to be playing out. But right now, it's going to be all due to headline risk. The U.S. has record amount of output as well as Russia. So the demand is still there in China as well. Uh, rumors are that it, the demand is falling off slightly. But with China having imported a, a considerable amount of oil from Russia, we're going to see how that's really going to play out. Now, with the volatility as of late, we've seen that strong liquidation on Friday, uh, very high volume. A lot of the funds had to margin calls, adjust their positions. Right now, we're seeing the lowest net long position in over a year. So with the, with the option volatility at these levels, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, the options volatility. Continue. Yeah, the option volatility right now is running at about 15 points higher than the historical 20-day average. So with that being said, it's roughly pricing in in the next 23 to 18 days about a $6 move. Yeah. Uh, just as I was walking up on the floor, we've seen the put spread uh, mm -hmm. go up about 2,000 times. It's a 50, 47 put spread in the front month contract. All right, Scott, we've got to leave it there, but our thanks to you. It's Scott Geek is with us today of Longleaf Trading Group from the CME.